Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge. I am your host Rick Redmond and we are in week 4 of this Madden NFL 17 franchise for the Los Angeles Rams. Now it's the point of the season where players are going to want to start renegotiating their contracts as their current ones want to expire. Case in point with the first two examples. TJ McDonald our strong safety and Garrett Reynolds our left guard. Now both have played key pivotal roles so I definitely want to keep both of them especially TJ McDonald. Uh, for Garrett Reynolds, he's actually one of the topper half of the left guards in the NFL. So he's actually a pretty good left guard. So we want to see if we can try to keep him. So I'm going to do a test run on Garrett Reynolds first because I prioritize TJ McDonald more than him. But Garrett Reynolds, I wouldn't mind keeping either. So I'm going to give him the fair offer and not bump up the value of the fair offer and just keep it the same and see what he says. Just give it like a test to see if he takes it or not. And he says the right contract link, but the financial side needs some work. So basically, he just wants more money. Okay, so hopefully we'll get back to him next week, and hopefully he still wants an offer. Now, TJ McDonald, I bumped up the value from the fair offer, and hopefully he accepts it because we really need him. He's been a big-time playmaker this season. And he says the contract's great except for the bonus. So bonus, we're going to have to bump it up and hopefully get him signed and locked in soon. Now this week's matchup is against the Cardinals, a battle of the undefeated and sole possession of the division. Let's see who gets it. With that, let's get out to the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at University of Phoenix Stadium here in Glendale. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. So the Cardinals are going to start off with the ball. Carson Palmer is going to drop back first play of the game, and he's going to find Larry Fitzgerald on the left out route. Wasn't sure if you guys feed inbounds, but apparently he did. So that is a catch. So now third and three. Palmer is going to hand off to David Johnson, but look at Mark Barron. The user hit stick makes a pop off the fumble, and Sergio Brown scoops it up for a touchdown. What a way to start off the game. Fumble, scoop, recovery for a touchdown. That's how you start off a game against the battle of 3-0. Mark Barron with a laid out hit stick on David Johnson, and Sergio Brown with the recovery and the score as we're going to soar our way to a 7-0 lead to start off and our offense hasn't even hit the field yet. This is great. So now with the early 7-0 lead, Cardinals have some work to do. So now third and six. Look at Carson Palmer finding his tight end Gresham for a first down. And then now our inside Rams territory ready. Palmer's gonna do play action. He's looking, looking. He's got so much time. Come on guys. And oh! Wow, Michael Floyd picks it off from TJ McDonald. But wait, there's a flag. Is this a touchdown or not? Is it going to stand? I'm hoping it's not, though. Oh, illegal touching. Interesting. That's the first time I've seen that. And yes, it is. He had his foot out of bounds and came back inbounds to get the catch. You're not allowed to do that. So the touchdown is negated. So now third and ten. They're going to have to find another way to convert this first down. And Palmer finds Josh Brown, John Brown rather, for a first down right inside the five. So then second and goal, Palmer's going to hand it off to David Johnson. Easily up the middle, untouched, gets a touchdown to tie this game at seven apiece. So either way, they still get the touchdown. So now we finally get on the field on offense. And Goff's going to hit the play action, find Kenny Britt over the middle for a first down. Now... A little bit past midfield. Goff dropping back. He's going to find the rookie, Farrell Cooper. He's been making nice plays lately, at bringing him up from the practice squad. Now third and two. We're going to fake the handoff to the fullback. And look at Todd Gurley breaking a tackle. Just see that hit stick. Or not the hit stick, but that truck stick. Taking Cardinal players down. Which is now inside the five. Now at the four. Third and goal. Goff's going to find the receiver over the middle. And it's... That's actually, I thought it was Kenny Britt. That's Ryan Quick, actually, who gets us in a touchdown, and we are now up 14 to 7. So then now, first play for the Cardinals on this scrimmage, and look at this! David Johnson just juked one of our defenders, and he could go all the way for a touchdown. Are you kidding me? First play after they just got the ball right back, 75 yards for a touchdown. Wow! And Sergio Brown is the victim of that ankle breaker as he just got juked out of his cleats. Look at this. 
Unbelievable. So now the game is tied once again at 14 apiece. I have a feeling this is going to be a shootout. As you see, Goff right there find Farrell Cooper for a first down right at midfield. Then on the next play, Todd Gurley have to toss. Bounce into the outside and gets a good amount of yards for another first down. Then with two minutes to play in the first half, Goff's going to find Ryan Quick on the left side for about eight, nine yard gain. Then on first and ten at the 11 with a little over a minute to play now in the first half. Goff throwing it high up to Kenny Britt who just gets tackled right at the one yard line. And then now trying to waste as much time as he can first and goal. We're kind of reward Jared Goff and trying to throw it to Kenny Britt once again. The high pass actually works as we get it in for a touchdown. Take a look at the replay. Look at the size mismatch. That's great awareness from Goff to see that and get us up a touchdown lead once again. So now it's 21 to 14. The Cardinals still have a chance though to at least either cut the lead or even maybe even tie the game if possible. Well, that's the worst case scenario at this point. So less than 30 seconds to play. Palmer looking, looking, finds Fitzgerald who just gets out of bounds and gets the first down. And then now the next play, first and 10, 20 seconds to play. Palmer has so much time and look at this, William Hayes with the sack. So drops him back now, second and 14 with 15 seconds. And oh, he got his man over the middle at the 35. That's just in about field goal range, but they don't have any timeout. So this is great, right? This is super great for us. There's no way they can get their field goal unit on the field. What is it now? Five seconds? Yeah, four seconds. No way they can get it. Oh, look at this. No, look at this cheese. Look at this. There is no way they could have got their field goal unit in time like that. No way. The game just auto-simmed it to the point where their field goal unit was already there. Wow, so they get three free points for that. And now the lead is cut down to four because of that. So at least we get the ball to start the second half. But on third and eight, it's a drop pass as Pat Peterson knocks it away. And we would give the ball right back to them. And now on 2nd and 13, Palmer is going to hit Fitzgerald over the middle. Who gets rocked but gets enough for the first down. As Palmer is still perfect, 9 for 9. 1st and 10. Palmer dropping back. He finds another target, Jermaine Gresham. Now Palmer's 10 for 10. Still perfect. Then on 3rd down. Palmer, the pressure. And he's going to throw it and lob it out of bounds. So we finally force an incomplete, for his first incomplete pass. And, he, and now we would get the ball right back. So then now we're still up by four. Second and ten. Goff is throwing it to Lance Kendricks, who just gets enough for that first down. Then on the next play, first and ten. Look at that hole. Look at the hole Todd Gurley found. And oh, he just gets tackled right at the 41. But it is good enough for another first down. Then Goff dropping back. And oh, a blitz out of nowhere on the left side. Untouched. And it's the Honey Badger. Tyron Matthew with the sack. So now we're, yeah, we would have to give the ball back to them. So then now, Cardinals with the ball. They're deep inside their own territory. Look at this. Off a of screenplay. It's David Johnson again. David Johnson down the right side. He's going to go all the way for another touchdown. Another long touchdown play for David Johnson. Are you serious? 86 yards now off a of screenplay. And now the Cardinals have the lead. Oh jeez. Now we got some work to do as now Goff finding Kendricks over the middle for first down. And then Goff, next play. He's gonna lob it and oh he gets Brian Quick. And I think that was against Pat Peterson too. Wow, and it was. Brian Quick is snatched it with one hand off of the one of the top corners of Pat Peterson for a first down. That's amazing. Then on third and ten, we had to convert to at least stay keep this drive alive. And Farrell Cooper comes up short of the first down. So we would have to settle for the three points and the tie. So now it's 24 apiece. As the Cardinals will now get the ball. First and 10. With less than three and a half to play in the game. And ooh, that could have been a pick. But we just knocked the pass down. Then on third and three. Palmer, you see some pressure fighting against him. And he looks like he had a, a completion. But ooh, Gresham drops it. Nice hit by TJ, so we actually get the ball back and a chance to win the game. So now a little over two minutes to play. Goff, oh no, he overthrows quick. That could have been a big play right there. So on third and ten, we need to convert this to keep the drive going, but oh. 
the pass gets knocked down and now we would have to punt the ball and give the Cardinals a chance to win the game. So then on the first play as they get the ball back with less than two minutes, Palmer hits his target for about seven yard game. So they're in the hurry up offense. Scrambling. So then now the next play, Palmer play action. Oh, we could have got a sack, but he gets chop blocked. And look at this. Look who's open down the field. John Brown. Are you kidding me? How did we let him get that open so deep down the field? Unbelievable. Wow, what a mishap on defense. And then on the next play, oh dear lord. David Johnson, are you kidding me again? Just trucks that one of our defenders and he runs all the way for a touchdown. Wow, unbelievable. He took out C Sergio Brown. Sergio Brown's been a victim lately. That juke move earlier, and now that truck stick, and now we're in a little bit of a pickle. We're a little over a minute to play. We're down a touchdown. But look at our look at our rookie and return guy, our new return guy, Tyree Kill, getting us up to the 38-yard line. So now it's up to Goff and the offense to try and get us back in and tie this game and force overtime. So on the first play. Goff, screenplay to Todd Gurley. Gurley's got some room to run. And we're in inside Cardinals territory. So then at the 42 yard line, second down. Goff's going to hit quick on the left side for a, at least a decent gain right there as we call our first timeout. Then on third and five. A little over 30 to seconds to play. And oh, we hit Brian Quick over the middle, but he drops it. Are you kidding me? Worst time to do that, so we're forced a fourth down. Fourth down. Goff. Hits Kendricks. Oh, Kendricks dropped it. The Honey Badger forces the hit. The Honey Badger forces the hit. And he and now it's Cardinals ball. And that is pretty much game as well as the Honey Badger just lays just enough of a hit to force the drop off of Kendricks. And the Cardinals are going to wound up with the victory 31 to 24 and become the only undefeated team in the NFC West Division. Wow, what a game. I had a feeling this game was going to come down to the wire, and it did, and we, we suffer our first loss. So that's going to be it, guys, for this week's episode. I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, this is going to be Rick Redman signing out.